Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. My name is Rodolfo. In today's video, we will cover how to export a bill of material from a model to an Excel spreadsheet. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So this is how we extract bill of material information from a model whose drawing might have gone corrupted, misplaced. So the first thing we've got to do is go to the insert menu, down to tables and bill of materials. We're going to insert a bill of material onto the model and by doing that we'll have all that information that we can export. Now in the bill of materials property manager you have some options if you're curious as to what each option does you can click the help icon and it will take you to the online help page for the property manager that you're currently in. So I'm just going to accept the default settings and I'm going to insert it into the existing annotation view here. You have the option to create a new annotation view, but here I'm just going to accept the existing annotation view. Okay. Once I do that, you can see that my table is following my cursor. It's prompted me where I want to insert this bill of material. Okay. And as you can see, it moves with the model and it's attached to this annotation view. Now notice that we now have a tables folder and in that tables folder we have a bill of materials and uh, that's where we have to go to save it as an Excel spreadsheet. So what you want to do is you want to right click on that bill of materials, go to save as, select your folder and then the save as type you want to change that to an Excel spreadsheet format so I'm just going to select XLS here and I'm just going to call it model bomb table and I'm going to say save once I do that I'm going to browse to that folder so I can show you what it looks like opening that file we can see that it has the same columns and the same information as we do in the model itself. So here you can um, manipulate the data however you want to and just know that it is not parametrically linked to the model. This is a great way to export that data in case a SOLIDWORKS drawing file got corrupted or um, unlinked to its model. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, GoEngineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. This is Rodolfo Gutierrez signing off. Bye for now.